Good afternoon, it's Trey Malakout from a bench on Crystal Beach. So excited to talk with you today about how to step out of suffering and what you need to do in order to claim your life, a life of joy, a life of peace, a life of purpose, a life of intention, a life of hope, and a life of total and profound contentment. Now I want to begin by telling you one of the things that we do is create our own reality. Everything in our reality is simply a perception, a judgment, an expectation, an idea that we've formed in our minds from some narrative, some, some experience we've had in our lives that tells us that this is how life should play out. Now, for some reason, that doesn't wash with me because I don't believe that's how God designed the world that we live in. Now, let me stop for just a moment because I know I just mentioned this God word and let me go on that for just a moment. <clears throat> I don't care what your connection is or what your perspective is, what your higher power is, if you're atheist or agnostic or a Christian or a Buddhist or a spiritualist or a metaphysician or whatever it may be. The truth of the matter is that we as human beings are an extension of a divine consciousness. We're an extension of something bigger and greater than ourselves. We in effect are that extension of much more powerful, greater spiritual connection. And in that, in, in saying that, in understanding that, don't get hung up on the semantics. Now what I choose to say is God or Master Creator, because that just simply works for me. But I want you to think about what that Master Creator is in your life. And as you consider how you frame that with language, I want you to consider this idea, that that Master Creator, that core consciousness, that main spirit, that God, that, uh, that, that deity or entity or uh, energy that you live with, that you connect to every day, has placed you on the face of this earth for a divine purpose and reason and mission. But here's the interesting thing. Do you know that humans are the only species that has chosen to deny their own evolution? You know, I sit on the beach every day here on the bench and I notice the trees and the plants and the birds and the fish in the water. And what I am struck by is that all of these incredibly fantastic creatures that have incredibly beautiful symbiotic relationships with other things. You know, a, a certain type of plant has to grow in the shade of a certain kind of tree, etc. A certain type of fly has to live on the ass of a certain type of animal in order to survive. These symbiotic relationships are what allow us to know that we are part of a much bigger, greater, more profound creation. Now, in that in, in understanding that, what I want you to consider is how are you stopping your own evolution? And what I want to talk about briefly is the number one way that we as human beings disconnect from our spirit, disconnect from our higher power, disconnect from God, disconnect from those things that give us value and purpose and meaning. And the first thing that we do is assign meaning to what's actually happening in our lives. And so what I'd like you to think about at this point is what is happening in your life right now and what type of meaning are you assigning to it? Are you struggling in some area? Are you wrestling with the problem? Are you dealing with something that's frustrating or difficult? And what if? What if, instead of analyzing or saying, I wish it would be, or it could be, or it should be, or why is this happening, or what's the purpose of this, you simply said one simple thing. I am evolving. I am becoming greater and greater every day in every way, and whatever is happening in my life is divinely inspired and is perfectly orchestrated so that I may evolve. Now. That seems quite simple, but the truth of the matter is it's all that meaning that we assign to everything else that prevents us from stepping into that place of evolution. So what I want to invite you to think about is this concept that everything is happening perfectly in your life right now. There's nothing that you can do different or better to make that change except to lean into it. Now when I say lean into it, what I'm proposing is that we step into our lives and we have a choice. We can analyze it, we can say that this should be better or this could be different or I wish I wasn't frustrated about this or what, you know, uh, anal just, just thinking about every aspect of, of how life could be or should be or would be and instead simply say what is is what is. 
and lean into the opportunity that the struggles in your life perhaps are there to teach you how to be a more loving person or the difficulties that you're facing are helping you m deal with something that you uh, must get rid of or the frustrations that you have with another person or a difficulty in your life are there to teach you to move to a higher level of functioning that in effect you have set the course of many many years ago you know the truth of the matter is that we all when we're placed on the face of this earth we, we have a divinely inspired mission and purpose and value and we are living into that truth we are living into our spirit but what gets in in our way is that we start analyzing and thinking and, and evaluating and trying to determine what's right and what is wrong and what I'm proposing is that everything is right so as you live your day, are you making choices to fight what is right in your own evolution or are you simply leaning in? Are you waking up and you're saying to yourself, today is the day that I'm growing and expanding and becoming better and better and greater in every way, every single moment of every single day? Or are you questioning your evolution? And I believe it's the questioning of our evolution that causes the most pain and the most suffering. So I want to leave you with one thought, and that is this. As you consider the things happening in your life right now, whether it's your finances or your relationship or your work or where you live or what you're doing or how you need to do it or what you'd like to see different or better, I want you to simply step back and say to yourself, today I am evolving in a powerfully dynamic way and I'm going to lean in and honor the good and the things that I perceive as bad because those things that you perceive as bad are simply narratives that you hold within your brain about what should be bad. Let me give you one final example. If you're having some type of, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a personal example. A couple of years ago, I set course on my life and I proclaimed to God that I wanted a life of freedom and independence and the ability to boldly transform people's lives if they chose to interact with me. I chose to step into a place where my life would be free of all encumberments. And in that process, what I've watched is that all encumberments have been weeded away. Now that being said, some of those encumberments have been quite difficult to process out losing certain type of relationships, losing resources, losing things, losing concept, losing opportunities, losing whatever it may be. And there's this process of grief that we live with as we're releasing those things that line up with our greater purpose. Now let me take it a step deeper. I divinely know, I, 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 I am so confident that the creator that has created all of the beauty of the universe wants the best for us but what what has happened is we've been indoctrinated to believe that number one that cannot be true and number two that we're in control of our own destiny and what i'm proposing is that the master creator has you on a path a path of growth a path of evolution a path of perfection and the more you fight it the more difficult it will be so as you go about your day today, I want you to simply say the things that are happening in my life are happening for a divinely perfect reason. The people I'm interacting with are coming in for a specific perfect reason. The experiences and the thoughts and the ideas that I'm having are there for a divinely perfect reason. And when you can lean into that process, then you allow yourself to step fully into your evolutionary state. When we step into our evolutionary state, we step into a place of realizing that we are perfecting. And here's the interesting thing. When you start thinking about how you're perfecting in your world, then all of a sudden, you stop focusing on how imperfect you actually are. Now with that thought, I want you to find today a sense of peace in knowing that you are beautifully and wonderfully made that you are perfecting every day in every way. And those things that you have an attachment to, those ideas about what should be or could be or wish you would have and hope for, you simply say, I might not understand it right now, 
but I'm becoming better and better every day in every way. With that, I'm Trey Malicote from a bench on Crystal Beach.